My name is Rebecca. I'm a student in the Culinary Management Program at Pensacola State College. I picked this major because I enjoy being creative and doing things with my hands. I also uh, really enjoy cooking and baking and creating pleasurable experiences for people. So this seemed a natural fit to me uh, to combine everything that I liked into one concise uh, major. Eventually, I would like to open my own bakery and produce mostly a variety of different kinds of breads that people can enjoy with danishes and other breakfast pastries. Um, there are other options that you can do with this degree. You can go and work in the kitchen as a line cook, and you can also work your way up and eventually become a sous chef or an executive chef with this degree. The types of classes that I take in this program range from introduction classes to production classes where you're actually producing a meal for the general public to enjoy, as well as management classes and your core reading math types of classes. The classes that are more tailored specifically for the culinary program are the production classes. They offer three here, uh, a classical cuisines which explores uh, French classical techniques, a international cuisines class which explores uh, cuisines from all over the world, Africa, Italy, even regional United States like Florida, the south, the Gulf Coast, and uh, then there's also a general American production class which is much more of your lunch a la carte sort of meals. Uh, in those classes you work about six or seven different stations you will do pastry for one rotation. You will cook and prepare entrees, uh, the proteins and the sauces as a second rotation. And then you'll also do a lot of different starters, uh, such as your appetizers, and kind of rotate through those as part of your classes. One key experience that you do get in these classes is you get to act as a manager on duty. So that day it's your kitchen to run. And you get a little bit more of the management experience that you will experience later on in real life, out in the real world, in, the, in a real kitchen. My favorite part of these classes is the learning experience that I get. I learn not only from my instructors, but also my classmates. Everybody has a very diverse background, so when you get together and work in a close environment like this, you learn a lot of interesting things that you wouldn't otherwise learn. Um, my other favorite part is um, you're not really limited by what you can do. You're, you can constantly challenge yourself and grow in this environment, whether it be trying to perfect your knife skills or trying to create a dish using techniques that you've never used before. The hardest part of being in this program are the long hours. You're on your feet 10 to 12 hours a day, and you are constantly having to maintain an energy level to kind of get you through the day. Also, you have to be able to execute and make things uh, as well as you can at the 12 hour point as you do at the one hour point. Um, my biggest piece of advice would be you don't need to rush through a program like this. It's okay to take one to two classes at a time, um, especially if you're working at the same time. Um, my other piece of advice would be find a balance between work, school, and home, so that way you can excel in all three areas. Um, also, um, be open uh, to any kind of experiences because you're going to go through a lot of different things and you want to learn as much as you can. Also, my, I would advise you to work in a commercial kitchen for one to two years. That experience will give you a leg up on just being prepared with basic techniques and how a kitchen functions, which will really help you in this program for long-term success.